Part 2, Unrequited Love. I want someone to take the initiative and especially if it's him, as I am a girl. That's the tradition where I come from. Not like now where young people can be more comfortable with who takes the first step. I think he's just a close friend of my little friend, so I get to enjoy shared meals and encounters between us. You know, I'm a girl who may have a tall figure but not a balanced one. With brown eyes, large, high cheekbones, and a wide mouth. That's not the Eastern girl's standard. Because of that, I feel insecure. When I meet him, I only dare to look at him with the eyes of a younger sister and a bright smile. I'm sure he can sense some of my feelings. Though maybe he doesn't pay much attention because many other attractive girls pursue him. Or maybe he wants me to finish studying and needs time to get to know me better. So, I've been waiting while daily remembering him. I strive to study so he can see my efforts. I yearn for him to understand and take more initiative, to care for me more. My emotions towards him are kept inside, and I also want to confide in my roommate, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid because she is his sister, and she knows about my academic performance and personality. So, I don't confide in her. But I know my friend is sensitive, and she probably realizes the emotions I have for him. That's why on the last day he met me in the city before going back to his hometown for work, my friend went out for a long time to give his space to talk. At first, I didn't realize because I thought she went to buy something, but she didn't come back. He was sitting at the table in the room holding his laptop as if working, and I was wandering in and out, picking up random things. I wish I had dust in my eyes while outside, and he would come out to blow the dust out of my eyes for me. Just a wish, and it couldn't happen. Maybe I'm influenced by watching Korean romantic movies. I hoped he would run out or call me for something or invite me in and talk to him. Oh. I yearned for him to call me in and give me a hand or a gentle kiss on the cheek, like in romantic movies. But nothing happened. My heart was pounding. And I wanted to run quickly into the room and pour out all the feelings in my heart to him. I wanted to give him my first kiss, but I hesitated. Concerns about him being talented, intelligent, and having a bright future made me lose my nerve. That day, I still had some alcohol in my system from the previous night when our boarding house had an end-of-year party. I had a bit of light wine. As my tolerance is not good, so I didn't drink much. Then we went karaoke singing and had some more soft drinks. And so, I got drunk. My friend also got drunk. Perhaps in my drunken state. I told the neighbors and my roommate about my feelings for him. The next morning, my roommate told me that I spoke nonsense and slapped her. I apologized. And she said it was nothing because I was drunk. Maybe that's why the next day he came, and my friend created space for us, at first. I didn't realize because I thought my friend had gone to buy something, but she didn't come back. He was sitting at the table in the room, holding his laptop as if working. And I was wandering in and out, picking up random things. I wished dust would fly into my eyes while outside, and he would come out to blow the dust out of my eyes for me. Just a wish. And it couldn't happen. Maybe I'm influenced by watching Korean romantic movies. I hoped he would run out or call me for something or invite me in and talk to him. Oh, I yearned for him to call me in and give me a hand or a gentle kiss on the cheek, like in romantic movies. But nothing happened. My heart was pounding. And I wanted to run quickly into the room and pour out all the feelings in my heart to him. I wanted to give him my first kiss, but I hesitated. 
concerns about him being talented, intelligent, and having a bright future made me lose my nerve. That day, I still had some alcohol in my system from the previous night when our boarding house had an end-of-year party. I had a bit of light wine, as my tolerance is not good, so I didn't drink much. Then we went karaoke singing and had some more soft drinks. And so, I got drunk. My friend also got drunk. Perhaps in my drunken state. I told the neighbors and my roommate about my feelings for him. The next morning, my roommate told me that I spoke nonsense and slapped her. I apologized. And she said it was nothing because I was drunk. Maybe that's why the next day he came, and my friend created space for us. I yearned to have his kiss or hold his hand. Or he would say to me, Let's get to know each other, shall we? Or, do we have a chance to meet again? If so, my heart would melt and agree immediately. My friend left, and we had our last meal together. Every meal, everyone was happy chatting, but that day everyone had mixed feelings, and I was very sad. Sad because I didn't dare to say I love him. Maybe he's like me. Not knowing if I like him and accepting his circumstances. I think maybe he and I can't be together. Our parents in the sky didn't fade us. I think it's because I'm ugly and incompetent. And I have an unpleasant odor. I feel isolated in the crowd. I even used toothpaste and soap to temporarily get rid of the body odor. Or maybe he knows and is hesitant. Because according to my friend, he's very clean and neat. I've been disappointed a lot in myself. I also thanked him a lot for the time he helped me. Like when he gave me a ride from the bus station to the apartment. Or when he bought us delicious food. In short, I felt inferior when I fell in love with him. The dinner ended. He took a short rest and had some work in the afternoon. I took the opportunity to review my lessons because the next day I had an important presentation for graduation. That day was Sunday, you know I follow the Christian faith. So I prepared to go to church and prayed for confidence and success in the upcoming exam. After he woke up, he told me he would conveniently take me to church. I replied, saying that I would borrow his car to pick up my friend and then we would go to church together. He handed me the car keys. My heart was beating chaotically. Wanting to jump out because perhaps he gently wanted to take me to church to get closer. I was so happy that he took the initiative to speak first. To be continued.